Hi, I'm Joe Gagario, and I work for Google in Developer Relations. As part of our ongoing series on the Atom Publishing Protocol, today we're going to be covering some of the advanced features. If you haven't had a chance yet, please go back and watch the introduction to the Atom Publishing Protocol, which will cover all the basics. So, let's begin. In this presentation, we're going to be covering four advanced features that we hadn't previously covered. Paging, drafts, category documents, and the slug header. Paging is for what happens when you have too many entries for a single feed document. Previously we talked about you would go and do a get on a collection and you would retrieve a feed document and within that feed document would be entries and each entry would correspond to a web log entry. If there are a lot of entries, putting them all into a single feed would actually be a bad idea. There could be tens, hundreds, thousands of entries. The paging that's built into the Atom Publishing Protocol allows you to control how many of those entries you're actually going to receive. The server decides how many entries go into a feed, and you retrieve that feed, and if you would like more entries, you would follow the next link seen here. So it's a link element with a relationship of next, and then you retrieve, you do a get on that URI. When you do that get, you will receive yet another feed, and it will retrieve the next batch of entries. Similarly, that feed may contain another link element with the next batch of entries in it, and you can continue to follow those in a chain until you get all of the entries that you want. Drafts. Here we're talking about editing an entry without making it public. If I post an entry to a collection, I can add the app control element and inside there add the draft element with a value of yes. That tells the publishing system to keep this as a draft, to not make it public. I can still, it will still show up in the collection feed. I can still edit it. I can do gets and puts on it. Um, I can delete it and remove it from the collection, but it will remain out of, it will not update the actual web log itself, and it will stay out of the public feed. When I change this value from yes to no, or remove the draft element completely, it will no longer be a draft, and when I update that entry, it will be made publicly available. Category documents. You can add category elements to your entry, and this is part of the standard Atom syndication format. What we need to know, though, in the publishing scenario is what categories are available to the client to use when it creates an entry. Those are actually listed in the service document. And in here we can see there are two category elements that are possible to use, joke and serious, in the scheme which is defined by a URI, http colon slash slash example.org slash extra dash cats. So categories are listed in the collection element in the workspace that you're working in, in the service document. Now, there could be a lot of category elements that are possible to use. And another situation you could run into is where you have uh, categories where you want to reuse them among different collections. So an alternative way of listing this information is to actually create a separate standalone category document and then just reference the URI for that. So here we have a categories element and it just has an href. And if I do a get on that URI, I will actually retrieve a category document as you can see here. And this is the same exact information we saw in the service document, but I can now reuse it in multiple collections by just referencing that URI. An optimization that you see here is that the scheme has actually been lifted up and is in the app categories element. And so it does not appear in each of the atom category elements below. This is just an optimization so that you don't have to keep repeating the same information. It still means the same exact thing. Slug header. The slug header suggests to the server what should the URI of the entry be. This is just a suggestion to the server. The server can ignore this. It is optional to implement this. Uh, and that is done by actually including a slug header when you post to create the new entry. 
And that's it. Those are the four advanced features of the Atom Publishing Protocol, not previously covered in the Intro to the Atom Publishing Protocol presentation. And that's it. Thanks very much, and have fun.